Hello, Gemini. It's my lady from my lady's way tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly hmm love reading for the week of December 27th through the through through January third, <laughs> 2021 and 2022. The cards I'm using today are hmm, what are these? I don't know what these are. Oracle of Visions by Kiro Marchetti, and I'm closing off with my. Tarot Dragonis by David Corsi. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, and subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. All right, more foes. Let's get this show on the road. All right, let's see what's going on, y'all. All right, so I do feel like somebody then broke out of a situation. Things thinking the grass will be greener. Okay, here it looks like somebody was. Always thinking about what they could have done, should have done, could be doing, would be doing, um, but wasn't doing, okay? And I do feel like with this card, we feel like, I feel like there's a lot of manipulation going on, keeping somebody from doing what they could have been and should have, would have been doing, okay? You know what I'm saying? Um, but I do feel like somebody broke out of this and they ended up doing what they wanted and could have and should have, would have been doing and they ended up not liking it, okay? But... We have um, the card number 26 reversed. And I do feel like that is somebody going back to something that they're already in. Okay. So what this reminds me of, I had people in my life when I was younger. It was this person I used to date. Awesome, awesome person. Nothing was wrong with them. They were just a pretty controlling. But it wasn't sickening controlling. It was like, okay, don't be, you know taking off your clothes outside controlling okay <laughs> i was wild okay um but i had these friends around me that was telling me that this person was not good for me and they was controlling i need to live my life because i'm young and all this kind of stuff and i'm like yeah you're right so i actually stopped talking to this person and now that i'm grown i'm like damn that was a pretty good partner that was a pretty good partner. And now I know it was that green-eyed monster that kept me away from them. And I do feel like that could be the same situation that was going on here. You know, you got somebody telling you how bad um, what, what your life is. But it's like it wasn't bad until you told me it was bad. Like, okay, you can go and run the streets and slip down poles and all this stuff when you want to. But I can't. You know, it's just like a different type of lifestyle. But then when I think about it, it's so much behind that i can be talking for hours about um that whole situation but like you care about somebody they wouldn't mind it but i was doing it every night so it's like that compromise thing was not known about yet <laughs> okay not known about like it should be given to me and go in and out okay it wasn't a one-way street kind of thing okay but that that's what it sounds like is happening here somebody regret leaving the situation because somebody told them to all right at least for that part let's keep going all right okay so now i guess i gotta say this stuff um but it reminds me of another story too like when i was younger much younger um a friend of mine she when uh, in the doctor's office and she came out and she was sounding sad and stuff. And I was like, what's wrong? She was like, they told me I was depressed. I was like, well, you weren't depressed before she, you went in there. And she just bust out laughing. She like, you know, you're right. It's like when people tell us stuff, people that we care about, people that we look up to, we start believing what these people are telling us. And I do feel like, you know, it leads us into some like crazy directions, okay? That's a real strong person. This person that I'm talking about, you know, every, most of what I've learned, I learned it from her. And it's like she never let anybody push her around or dog her out or anything like that ever. She was like the most nip it in the butt. That was her phrase, nip it in the butt, okay, kind of person. So it's like no way that you just walk in there one person and come out another, okay? But that's our belief system in other people. But sorry, I just talked for five minutes <laughs> all right so we got the card number 50 so i do feel like somebody's getting out and exploring things that they want and expanding their dreams okay i'm going to do what i want 
okay and i do feel like this going to do what you want i feel like oh this is nice but you know it's just like what i already had okay so we got the third car number 36 so it looks like somebody's breaking out of some kind of mental prison okay and we got car number 18 here so I, this makes me feel like oh goodness um this makes me feel like some kind of mental break about a child mm. all right let me tell let me turn this off sorry my dog my dogs and i like it to be very warm and he left from in front of the uh heater so i turned it off so a little bit of me i feel like somebody is 18 and i feel like or if if somebody's not 18 i feel like some kind of test is getting ready to show up and come up and somebody's not going to have to take care of something all right so it's like i'm gonna just tell you exactly what i see i feel like somebody might be getting ready to get a dna test but with this DNA test, the kid is going to be not the person who is supposed to be, but it's not going to be any different because this person don't do anything in the first place. Okay, so that's what I think is going on here. Y'all got a lot of sad stories, going, side stories. I got to make sure I say that right because some people like to, um, well, I guess people just don't understand some things I say. So I got to make sure my pronunciation or that's probably wrong too is better all right let's see what's going on here but side side situations a lot of side situations going on here there we go again all right so oh wow <laughs> it looks like somebody does not want to be alone okay i feel like i'm coming out of this um place of being alone but i feel like somebody's lowering their standards to do that which is not bad as long as you you know know what you will and will not not accept okay mm -hmm. all right what's going on what's going on what's going on gemini oh gemini gemini y'all giving me all kinds of feelings now and i ain't letting the cars fly out i'm just holding them boys tight All right, so now I'm feeling like somebody just like headaches, left temporal lobe. Yes, headaches, headaches, headaches. I don't know what this is coming from. I don't know where this is coming from, and I don't uh, want to <laughs> keep going into that kind of stuff. Let's get the cards going, y'all. All right, so we got card number 19 reversed here, so I do feel like some kind of temptation somebody's walking or running away from some kind of temptation um somebody could be regretting something that they've done somebody regrets um falling into some temptation all right so we got card number five here so i do feel like somebody's getting ready to take a leap a leap of faith but i feel like it has something to do with this regret like i told someone something that i did and i regret doing it I regret doing the deed, but I got to tell somebody or somebody that I care about that I did it. Okay. So I'm scared to be let go. Okay. I'm scared to be let go, but I can't sit knowing what I did. Okay. So it looked like somebody is regretting some kind of action that they made. And I feel like somebody is getting ready to try to apologize for it. It's like, it's just swarming inside of me all right so we got card number 11 here so i do feel like somebody just wants peace okay somebody wants peace somebody wants um what you call that i don't know what it's called but you know how you break up and you know you just got the information that you need to make you okay with it that's what this card is making me feel i don't know why it's just blank man you can call me blank man today Cause it's like showing me stuff but i can talk about it but just the actual thing i can't say what it is wow so we got card number 50 again so this makes me feel like definitely somebody did something and it wasn't like it was supposed to be it's like somebody cheated and it not only was it bad it was also bad <laughs> you know it's like dang it i feel like i did this for 
no reason, you know, as a double no-no. And then I feel like I'm starting to regret all the stuff that, you know, what if it wasn't bad, then I would have been doing this all the time. And, and it's just eating somebody up, eating somebody up. And I feel like somebody is not going to be able to just get over it. So I do feel like somebody may just have, well, is thinking about just going and telling what happened. All right. Dang. Did this keep popping up too? I don't know. So we got card number 36. Somebody is in that mental trap, locked mentally into what happened, and they just ready to get out. I'm ready to get out. So I'm going to tell what I what I seen, what I did. All right. So I do feel like it was fear at first, but I feel like somebody's getting over this fear just to get it off their chest. Okay. I'm just, I just got to get this off my chest. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what's going on with the Gemini. What's going on with the Gemini for January 3rd? What is this? I don't even know. Do you know what today is? Because <laughs> I don't. <laughs> uh, wow, I really am blank. Oh, that's too many, y'all. It feels like five i would have been like okay i do it so december 27th to january 3rd what's going on what's going on what's going on gemini 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 despite what y'all think i don't smoke weed yeah <laughs> All right, so we got the three of wands. So I do feel like somebody's um, going back to something that they were doing. Um, I do feel like somebody thought that this was everything they wanted. Everything that they need, needed was getting ready to happen with this temptation that they went into. Uh, but it, 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 it wasn't, okay? So, dang, I can't stop telling these stories. I don't know what it is. Um, but this reminds me of when I caught somebody cheating on me. I caught somebody cheating on me. I didn't let them know I was cheating. I mean, I didn't let them know I knew that they were cheating. So what I was going to do, I was just going to cheat on them. But I thought about it like, you know, but if I cheat on them, then I'm going to keep accepting this crap. Okay. So it's just like somebody realized that what they did was not right. It wasn't good. You know, it wasn't going to fix nothing. It wasn't, it was just bad all together so i do feel like it was two wrongs here all right so we got the lover's card reverse here so i do feel like this person on the outside did not end up being the person that they were supposed to be all right so we got the knight of coins reverse here so i do feel like somebody it was a waste of time Somebody feel like it was a waste of time and I do feel like it's pulling on me emotionally. So I do feel like there's something wrong with this person on the outside too, this temptation person. I feel like this person may be like a, a, a con artist or some kind of mooch or something. There's something real wrong with this person. Um, or they could have been just so bad, I'm, I'm embarrassed. Okay. Like out of all the ones I could have picked, I picked the worst one in the world. All right, so we got card number three reverse here. So I do feel like somebody got over the heartache. So it's like somebody did something to you. You did something back to them. You know, I do feel like we flattened the line of, you know, tit for tat kind of thing. Um, I do feel like, but now I feel bad about what I did. Okay. Mm. Oh, goodness. So that that is the knight of cups so i do feel like some kind of offer is getting ready to come in but i feel like that's a like a, a different kind of offer especially since it came out sideways like that remember i told you i thought the person was going to be um a con artist so i do feel like some kind of proposal contract thing is going to come from this person well i'm going to tell you ain't got to tell because i'm going to tell on myself all right lover's car reverse all right, so we got the, yep. So I do feel like there's pictures. I feel like there's pictures or there's some kind of messages or some kind of voice recordings of what happened there, okay, from that person on the outside. So it's like not only, it's like the truth is going to come out whether you tell it or not, okay? 
All right, so we got the Nine of Cups, okay? So it wasn't supposed to happen like this. So I feel like not only was it horrible and I didn't want to go to where and I already felt bad about what I did, now it seems like this person is pushing me into telling what happened, what I did. <laughs> so it's like I was already going to tell, but now it's worse. And then it keeps showing me this letting go card. So I, I honestly feel like, too, that some of you guys were letting this person go like uh, uh, i can't deal with you because you whack or whatever the case may be like it's worth it's not worth it it's a waste of time i feel like this is one of the reasons why this person is going out and uh getting ready to extort you or tell on you because you don't want to deal with them no more you letting them go they don't want to let you go Mm-hmm. all right so we got the devil card here so i do feel like some um capricorn energy possibly some uh, definitely negative energy manipulation energy here okay and we got all the signs here okay but with this lover sign i think that belongs to the gemini so that is your card and it's reversed so that's your card and it's reversed and you could be dealing with a capricorn because that's the strongest energy here okay but we do got aries leo sag pisces cancer scorpio we got every one of everything on card out here Okay, that's why I don't call these cards out, but the strongest ones are the major arcanas, and I try to uh, call those out, but could be some, definitely some uh, Capricorn and more Gemini energy here. But with the Libra, I mean, Libra, <laughs> with the lover's card being reversed, that makes me feel like you're not being yourself. You're not yourself right here. Everything about this situation is not you. I do feel like, of course, we'd be manipulated. Okay, in times of uh, sadness, when we're vulnerable, you know, that predator come in and they see that we weak and they, you know, get us to do stuff we don't normally do. But that's what's, that's what's going on here. Okay, somebody was already heart, heart, heartbroken about a situation. Somebody came in, manipulated it, and now they're trying to extort it. Okay. All right, so we got card number six here. So I do feel like for some of you, whoever's going through this, um... If it didn't happen, it's getting ready to, okay? Uh, this this card represents time to me. So, yeah, if this is you, um, if you didn't do it, don't do it. Other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.